For some pasta, we're going to kick it up a notch. We need some help, so we brought in some troops. Pasta has become the standard part of many weekly family dinners, as you know. But the noodles, the pasta themselves, the pasta itself can be kind of dull and boring, so we need to take it to another level. Joining us this morning with great ideas, Chef Jill Tucker, who's here, culinary instructor at our partners at the Culinary uh, Institute of Michigan, Baker College up in Port Huron. Also with us, we've got uh, Nia Tomlinson, who you met at the top of the show, mm -hmm. and Mary Kristen, uh, is it Garand? Garand. Garand, who's with us this morning. So we're going to make something. I'm going to help you get in trouble. Yes, what are we you doing? Are. So we have some fresh pasta dough here. Have okay. you ever made fresh pasta? No, okay. I haven't. I know that, don't Perfect. you need like a quadruple, triple A flour or something, right? <laughs> um, yes. you, you know, you're right, but you can do it with um, AP flour, all-purpose flour as you well. You can. You oh, certainly okay. can, but the double zero flour okay. that you're referring to is, is traditional. Okay. So let's get this going. All right. Some things to know. I'll get it started for you. How and many you times should we be running it through the contraption? So we're going to run it through as many times as it takes to get it to the thickness that we would like. All right. Okay. So my grandmother used to have one of these, but it was a meat grinder. So same process. Okay. So from here on out, it's all you, Chuck. All right. Okay, well. So, so just make am sure. Am I folding it up again like you no, did? No, you're not going to fold oh, okay. it up. Putting it up here? Yep. And we'll okay. do it together. It's something fun that you can do with the family. Oh, it's fanning out. Oh, I broke <laughs> the right. handle. You came did off. not. You did oh, not. I told you I could break something. Okay, here we go. There we go. So now we go thinner. And then we'll go we'll go one more time. One more time. And then you're gonna Mary, how am I doing? <laughs> you're doing on great. A curve. I know you're still in okay. school. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Watch now your you fingers. can catch it. All right, here we go. There we go. So, and you could keep going to get it to your desired thickness, okay? All right. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the filling. We're actually making ravioli today. And is this something you're learning in the program? Oh, right? yes. Um, I actually make pasta probably every week for our restaurant. Do you really? Yep. Yes, you do. All right, so what kind of filling are we putting in here? So, Nia, you Should are going to go down there now? Come on, I'm coming in. Watch out. We've got some fresh, freshly made cheese. Okay. With some chives. We're going to add some chives in here. All right. Lemon zest and then a pinch of salt. Okay. I'm gonna stir this all up. That was a generous pinch. Yes, it's yes. freshly made cheese. So I know you're getting close. How close are you to graduating? I still have a year all to right. go. What do you like about this program? What I like about this program is the hands-on that we get to do. Uh -huh. Our class sizes are really small. So we get to learn a lot of the techniques in depth to make sure that we really grasp every aspect. That's cool. Of every technique. And then once we have our filling, we take these sheets of pasta uh -huh. with this square stamp that we have. All right. Then we add our filling right in the center. So you've made it into a little ball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Then we lay this right on top. And what about you? You're getting close to the end of the ride. So you're yep. already looking at internships and oh, employment, yeah. right? How's that yep. going? It's, uh, it's going well. It, uh, it takes a while to find the right fit for each individual um, culinarian, uh, but I'm really enjoying getting to um, learn from my instructors and yeah. find out where I fit best Good and what stuff. I do And best. Nia, what are you brushing on there? Is that just it's water? It's just or that... water. It's just water to create a seal around our uh, You should have said it was something special because that would have impressed <laughs> us like that's special. All right. And you're putting that, and this is made for making ravioli. This yes. This little contraption. Beautiful. So, right. Chuck, can you do me a favor, pick that up again, uh -huh. and then place the square, keep the ball right in the center. Right in the center, yep. just stamp it? Yep. Okay. There we go. Make another one? Yeah. All right. Right, right there in the in center. The center. <laughs> Perfect. That's so good. So they're transferred to the plate to the pan. Yep. Uh, we boiled them first. We just got it a little bit started for the show. Okay. And then we have some brown butter, some salt, and some pepper. Oh. A little bit of salt. Awesome. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. And so what, is there a name for the dish? Is there something that we would call this outside um, of what we know already? Fresh cheese ravioli. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's my job to ask that. those tough questions. Yeah. Yeah. We got a little parsley and Good. chive. Give it a little flip. Good stuff. All right, thank you, ladies. So if you're interested or you know someone who might be interested in learning new uh, culinary skills at the Baker College of Port Huron, you should know this. It is an award-winning culinary arts program, and you can visit their website. Go to baker.edu slash Culinary Institute of Port Huron. And remember to include the dashes in there because that's part of their web address. It's good to see you. Much nice success in your future. Thank Will you come you. back and cook? Nice meeting you. Let me help you cook and roll <laughs> and do whatever else I have to do. Over to you guys. I thought that